we need to prepare a hexagonal screwdriver 1.5 mm for installation. Let's take out other items. There are the parts. Let's install the bearing on the front first. This is the installed. If it too tight or is too loose, please go to slicing software, then quality. Find XY compensation. Adjust it to the appropriate size. There are three more gear. I recommend choosing the middle one to assemble first. Then we need to check its shaft first. If it can be installed, Little bit tightness is perfect. We have an installation reference. It should be as tight as this one. Just lower it a little bit. Just like that. Then we install the rubber ring. There is two rubber ring need to be installed. Okay, that's it. Then we install the bearing on the print part. I messed up the size, so I reprinted a blue one. Then hot melt. Put the small side of the hot melt nut downwards. Put it on the port to be hot melted. Set it to around 300 degrees on the soldering iron. Press it down. I finished installing the four nuts on the front. This is what the nuts installed looks like. Because of printing inaccuracies, I had to reprint it become blue one, and then heat set it. After heat fusing the nut, we proceed with its installation. Then prepare a long screw, a bearing and a washer. Next, we install the bearing onto the screw. Add a washer on that screw. Then take out the printed part. Install the screw first. Then take out our 1.5 mm screwdriver and screw it on. After tightening, we need to rotate it to see if it can rotate. If it can rotate, it's perfect. After installing these three things, we install the board. For the main board, just press it down. After installed it, we take out these two long screws. Okay, after tightening, we take out these two parts. The two screw we just screwed in. After tightening, we turn it over. There is a groove here. We take out this assembled print part, then take out the spring. We put this print part into the groove first.
Just press the spring down along it like this. Then we try to slide it. If it slides, it's perfect. After turning it over, we install this part. This is the one we just installed. With a rubber ring, we put it down, put it down and tighten it. We put the gasket on top of the shaft. Okay, let's take out this base plate. On this side of the base plate, there is the side with this bearing. Cover it. After covering, we take out for screws. And screw them on. If the quality of the printed part is not well, we need to use a screwdriver to clear the holes. After clear, we can install it. Then still we prepare for standard length screws. Take out these two collet clips and embedded Bowden collet. Then put these two tube. We can insert the tube into it. and pull it out a bit put clip in. I'll open the lid for everyone to see if it rotates smoothly. The installation tutorial ends here. Thank you for watching.